Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this recording will show the new option in 3D eye machining of holder collision and the new option that controls our step up during rest rough. Now, let's first take a look at our options for stepping up. We now have the option of stepping up as in the previous versions after it does all the down steps or now we can also do it having it step up after each down step. Now if we leave it the way it originally was and we have our tool, in this particular case we have a tool of 6 millimeters with a 12 millimeter cutting length and sticking out of our holder 20 millimeters. Let's run the simulation and see exactly what happens. It'll go down exactly the way it's supposed to, as it's done before. But now when it goes down to its next step, as we'll see in a moment, you'll see that because it's going to its next step, the holder does not have enough room to actually go all the way down and will crash into the excess material, as we'll see in a quick moment, when it gets to the close to the material itself as shown over here. What we can do about this now is as follows. Now let's go back to our technology field and make a change and choose each down step. We'll step down one time and then step up for the rest rough. When finishing doing that it'll go to its next step down. We also have the option besides that of holder collision. If I were to go back here now and changes back to all step down rest to where it originally was and go over here now and click on hold the collision this will also automatically put this on each down step then rest rough and besides doing that it will also make sure that the holder in any case will not hit the material itself let's run our calculation and then simulate the part now you'll see that the tool in this particular case after finishing its first initial step down it'll start working its way up before going down again as I zoom in as you can see that happening around the part itself. When it finishes doing this it'll go to its next step and do the exact same thing stepping up after each step down. Now at the same time it's also checking to make sure that the holder does not collide at all into any of the excess material. In this case if it does see that coming it'll actually move its tool step away from the material as shown in this area. You'll be able to see that very clearly over here and it will not machine any of that area of making sure that the holder itself will not hit any part of the material that's there. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.